Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Still out here in the carving tent. I feel like I didn't really go anywhere. Sometimes I wonder if I live in this place. Maybe, who knows. So if you guys caught the video yesterday, yesterday's video, we, uh, we worked on carving up some wood spirits, right? Out of scrap wood so you guys could carve them up and uh, sell them. Just give you guys some ideas of what else we can do with some of that scrap wood from our chainsaw carvings. So, I did not have them done yesterday. Here are the wood spirits though. They're done. They're gonna get shot with a little bit of clear coat to really round them off, but that's it. I'm not doing anything else. Keeping them kind of simple, keep my price low, get them out the door, make a couple bucks. Today, today we are gonna work on something a little bit different. If you watched yesterday's video, you know I'm going to do my best to carve up an elephant's head. Now, this is out of scrap wood as well. This is what it looked like, and this is what it looks like now. A little side-by-side -side comparison, right? So, carved this up all with the chainsaw, then I went back and hit it with my saber tooth bit. There's some detail, not a ton, but this is the overall look and plan that I'm going for today with you guys. So, I'm gonna be running my gas saw, going to be uh, doing everything with just a regular bar because again this could be an idea for those of you just starting to carve and you've got some weird pieces laying around and you just want to make do some practice make something you know make some art hopefully it'll uh, inspire you to do something cool so I'll be using the MS 250 again it is the uh, 3 8 bar with a 43 gauge chain it's the same setup that's on your 170s and your 180s we're gonna start blocking this out on that other little piece and then we'll come through and clean it up with the saber tooth bits and uh hopefully it'll be something cool so be sure to stick around give this video a thumbs up hit subscribe let's start making sawdust <laughs> Guess this piece is a little different than the last one. I got it here in the jaw horse. If you're gonna be working on small pieces, a jaw horse is a great investment. So keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera on so you guys can have a first person view here in just a second. Let's see how this thing goes. I don't know. It's a little bit different than the last one.
Well guys, there you have it. A quick elephant head, right? I'm not going to be able to do any more chainsaw work because there's just not enough meat here. It's starting to get kind of uh, real flexible. It's going to end up snapping. So we're going to jump over to saber tooth bit in the die grinder. This is the half inch flame bit course, the green bit. I'll have a link down below. If not, go to sabertooth.com. Check it out. They got all kinds of awesome stuff. Check out my Amazon links first, though. See what you guys can find. I will uh, post what I can on there for uh, for you. Check it out guys, quick elephant, just out of some scrap, it's 
scrap piece of wood right there. Ooh, it's hot out here today. I'm sweating, sweating, sweating. All right, guys, check it out. Elephant, right? Got the ears, the nose, the tusks. Got it going on. They look pretty neat, right? Chance I'll carve in some elephants out of scrap wood, guys. That's it. That's all I got. That's going to be it for today. I hope this video is entertaining. Hopefully it's going to inspire those of you learning to carve to just try something new, you know. I used a regular bar, cleaned it up with my uh, saber tooth bit and my die grinder. So, I mean, look at that. What do you need? Chainsaw, die grinder, saber tooth bit, and you can make some elephants. Heck, you can make some wood spirits. You can even carve up some, I don't know, what do you want to carve up? Bears? Absolutely. So that's going to be it though. Um, these were really fun. Really encourage you guys though to push your boundaries, try something new, attempt to carve something you think you can't carve. Do it once, do it twice, do it three times. Every time it should be getting a little bit better. Study photos of what it is you want to carve. Believe me, reference photos. I've looked at some photos of just an elephant's head before I even started this video, all right? Just for me, the photos are up here, right? If you guys have to, tack those photos up around your carving spot and just study them and practice and keep looking as you go. All that stuff is, is good stuff to remember and to do and it's just a good practice. So, hope you guys are having an awesome day. I hope you continue to have an awesome day. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, check out the description below for some social media links and some t-shirts and I don't know, some other crap I got going on. But I want to thank you guys, I really do. Check out some videos and I will see you guys next time.